So um, I'm uh, Ben Steer. I'm a founding member of Choreograph. I'm currently a researcher at Queen Mary University in London. Um, my focus is on distributed graph processing systems. And we're cur I've currently been working on a tool called Raftery, uh, which is an open source project through the Alan Turing Institute. Mm -hmm. So Choreograph um, is a coming together of sort of academics such as myself and Haroon and some industry specialists that we've been friends with for many years. And together we've been interested in developing the next generation of big data platforms. So our current focus is within the graph analytics space, obviously because of what I'm currently working on, um, and attempting to expand this scope to integrate elements of streaming so that we can have near real-time updates and you can see how things are changing um, in real time. Uh, distribution so that we can have scale out and you know really touch the large amounts of big data that's out there. And then finally, temporal analysis. So we want to understand how the data has evolved to the point that it's currently at, and then also use that to predict where it will go into the future. Um, I think near the end of our second year, me and Ben wanted to form a company, but we were really unsure on how we could proceed. Um, we discovered Conceptflix through an internal email at UCL, where they said they focused on PhD students, they gave us some um, us business skills, it was equity free, and they gave us exposure that wasn't offered on a, offered on a normal PhD program. At first, we were quite skeptical because it sounded too good to be true. So I spoke to one of my friends who had been on the program. He said, no, you should definitely try it out. And, and we gave it a go and, and we're very happy that we did. So thus far, the program has been great. Uh, we've learned like a far range of business skills, some of which include accounting, um, selling, pitching. We've also had exposure to a wide variety of people, from like fellow students, professional services and investors. Um, and we've also given the chance to pitch our product live over Zoom, which was a first for us. Mm -hmm. Well, so I, I, we, were, we were having a good think about this and I, I just, I think that Conception X has actually done a fantastic job in transferring to fully remote over the last couple of months. I mean, the, the main thing I think would, it would have been nice to meet some of our mentors in person, uh, as well as um, things like the show and tell to, you know, be in the crowd with the cohort and so on. Um, but I don't think in terms of actual learning and opportunities that Conception X has provided that we've really missed, missed out much in that type of experience. Yeah. So I, I think the uh, the main thing is, is that uh, Conception X really offers a friendly environment to learn these sort of key startup and business skills. Uh, I don't think that these things are very much touched upon at all um, in universities for PhD students that aren't you know involved in business and economics. Um, so yes, yeah, so I think even if you're not specifically interested in going in the direction of your own startup it gives you a very good framing for how business works in the wider world and how you can sort of take these deep tech ideas that you're bringing forward and actually market them and you know what make some money off them effectively for sure so I think the, the main one for me has been um, about how to sort of manage relationships uh, inside of the team and then also how to kind of pitch the ideas better um, as we've been going along. So um, Haroon has been focusing more on the um, actual uh, business development side of things and the, the content within Side CX. And I've been attempting to take that out into the wider world that the connections have been making. So that's that's been my um, real takeaway is how to actually take the ideas from an academic perspective and bring that more into a business context, which I found immensely hard at first, for sure. For myself, uh, I think one of the main ones was definitely teamwork. Um, and with that comes with the fact you have to um, be ready to delegate and prioritize. When you, when you go to a program like Conception X, you're very busy with your PhD, they know this. You're also very busy with trying to get your research published. So then the challenge, and then also participate in the training and the coaching and the mentoring. So the challenge then becomes, how do you delegate your tasks properly? and How do you prioritize which ones are key to your startup? So for me, that was a, a very big importance to make sure you have a lot of trust in your team so that they can help help you with your things you have. To further that, I think another, another thing what Ben touched on was managing relationships and, prior, and definitely prioritizing those when you have your, both your interests at home. 
because you, you definitely speak to a wide number of people and a wide range and you can't have time for everyone you can't fit um, with everyone it's just, so then it becomes like a key point of which of these will I be more, most impactful in if I'm not wasting people's time and how can I then maximise it Cool. So um, I don't think there's anything necessarily that I'd recommend to prep specifically beforehand other than just making sure that you're kind of confident in your idea or your company. So come with basically I have a cool idea and I can back up why it's cool. Um, after that, I think the main thing really is to come to uh, ready to learn and engage. So everyone in Conception X and the kind of sphere surrounding it, all the mentors and everyone are very interested in your startup succeeding but they don't sort of just hand this to you You know you need to be ready to grind for it you need to be able to go out there and speak to people and engage and book meetings and and, and so on as well as engaging with the content and the courses that are provided that that's really the main thing if, you, if you're not interested in doing that then i don't think the program is really for you yeah For sure. So I, I think my favorite moment so far was definitely the last show and tell because um, there was like a real buzz from the audience. Everyone was really interested in all the different projects. Um, I thought all of the presentations were really exciting. You know, the cohort as a whole has been really great this year. Um, and obviously we won, which is which is lovely. Um, and since then, we've had like a lot of fruitful conversations with uh, of, like, a lot of people that were in the audience and they've pushed it off to different people and so on. So I think it's been really great for our venture as a whole. So yeah, definitely the last show and tell was my favorite point. Thank you. For me, I think my favorite part of the program has definitely been the training. There's some moments where, or perhaps even all the training sessions, I realized that, wow, these are things I'd never known before. And I wouldn't have known unless I'd actually joined the program. It's definitely been a massive wow factor to opening up my eyes on how the business runs and how you should pitch and how you should change the way you speak, depending on who you're speaking to. So we don't think there's a really, really a right person. Um, the only really right thing you need is to be dedicated because um, running a startup and learning to run a startup is very challenging and very scary. So you really just need to be ready to try and fail and then try again. And as long as you can keep that momentum, um, you can definitely go forward. Because at the end of the day, it's not, it's really about you have a problem and how many times will you be, will you challenge that problem and go for it. Um, so if we did the program again, I would definitely push our coaches more. I think one thing is for saying is the more you put to the program, the more you get out of it. Uh, you get exposure from external mentors from industry, you get exposure from internal coaches at CX who have definitely had experience in business. And you have full training days with top academics and top industry uh, professionals. So it's really more about pushing what you can in the program. because. Um, for me, the main thing that I would like to do differently from the very beginning um, is that I'd, I'd like to uh, go for a bit more of a division of labor between our teams. So we have, we have quite a large team of six people. And I think when we initially started, um, we were kind of everyone was doing everything together, um, which I, obviously there's an element of trust building and so on when you're initially f forming a startup. But yeah, it, it would have been good if we could have devised that up a little bit better. And I think a lot of the early relationships that we made would have been a lot um perhaps more fruitful if we'd, um, you know, dedicated one single person to it as a point of contact and so on.